Hello everybody, we are back with Coach TV in Santa Monica and we are in between the Santa Monica Pier and the very, very famous, world famous Venice Beach and as a guest today I have Karin Lehmann as a business and life coach and I would like to ask a couple questions, a few questions today about coaching as we heard already maybe so Karin do you enjoy the location here on the beach I love it yeah Karin let's start with the first question when you started your coaching career why did why have you chosen coaching as your career and how did you get into it I started well when I started coaching it wasn't called coaching there were seminars and then we called ourselves trainers and I went to one seminar and pretty much to improve myself what is so fascinating about coaching when I first went to that seminar I didn't think I wanted to work as a coach but I was interested in what she had to offer as far as being able to help people of course first I wanted to help myself and what fascinated me about coaching, I guess, is like people are so complex and there's so many different facets. Mm -hmm. And I'm interested in seeing how somebody works and what they want and how to help them to get what they want. That's what happened to me. I went to the seminar. I had no clue who I was and what I wanted to do with my life. And all of a sudden things turned out that I never expected. That was mm -hmm. 16 years ago in the south of Germany in the Black Forest, or I think it was at the Lake of Constance. And my dream was to live in LA. Ah, so you are took the advice, I would say, maybe or maybe the coaching experience you gained at these seminars and make your dream come true. Is that can we say that in that way? First, I found out that what I, my dream was was something I could do. Ah, it's like you have a dream and you think, oh yeah, that's my dream. That could never happen. I grew up in the Black Forest. I never thought I could live in L.A. Mm -hmm. But as a little kid, I always dreamt about living in L.A. I remember I had little clippings. I had a dream book, clippings of L.A. and, of course, of movie stars. And I did that when I was 9 and 10. I thought it would be really dream come true to live in a place like that. So when I went to my first seminar, all of a sudden I found out, why not? Mm -hmm. Why not live that dream? That was the first step. And when did you think about really become a coach because that's what you mentioned before you were just uh, yeah help yourself to change something in your life but there, there's supposed to be I assume a point on the way until now what then you change to say okay now I want to become a coach that was pretty early on I took the seminar and there was a certain way of how the people facilitating the seminar, they worked with the participants in a certain way. And what they did is they were reading their aliveness. They found out what lights somebody up. And I had never experienced that before. Uh -huh, okay. So when I said something, they would say, oh, when you talk about that, it doesn't look too exciting. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it doesn't? <laughs> 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 At that time, I was very, I was a good housewife. I was very self-knitted, so to speak. Um, when I talked about traveling around the world as a businesswoman, I thought, oh yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. I, that's not me. But they said, oh, when you talk about that, you light up. Mm -hmm. I was like, I light up. <laughs> that was so surprising and it fascinated me because then I could see it in other people when they asked them questions too. You could see very clearly they talked about something that was safe for them. Oh yeah, I want to do this and that, and it wasn't exciting. And then they talked about the possibilities. What if, if I could do this? And all of a sudden they got excited. Mm -hmm. And it was for the first time that I learned that what we think is exciting is something we can achieve in our lives. We don't have to go for mediocre, safe. So then after the seminar, I would go out and look at people differently. I would look at my kids and oh, when they do that, they get so engaged. And then they did other things. You could tell they didn't like it. So mm -hmm. I started watching people more closely how long does it take to 
you can say to yourself, now I'm a coach and now I can really help people. The interesting thing about coaching is you don't go to school for four years and then you come out and you're a coach. You learn certain tools and you have to start applying them right away. Mm -hmm. So you learn tools and you work with people. You learn more, you work with people, you get some feedback, you see what's working, what's not working. I love that about the career of coaching. You can work with people right away. Okay. And you will find the people that at each each stage of your coaching progress want to work with you. Mm -hmm. It took me, for me personally, I, know, I remember that after eight years of being a coach, I said, now I'm a really good coach. Okay. But I helped people all along. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not, not, I didn't have to wait for eight years. I started working mm -hmm. right away. Okay. What, the, what actually are the basics? I mean, um, there are some thinking outside. They think if you want to become a writer, you have to have a certain talent. Or if you want to become a very good football player, you have to have a certain talent on that. Mm -hmm. Is that the same with coaches? Or what kind of basics, I think, do you need? Or do you need a talent at all? I personally think everybody could be a good coach at their field of interest. Mm -hmm. What you need for sure is an interest in people. If okay. you want to work with people, you have to have some curiosity about them. Um, not necessarily about each person, but what do they want? Where do they want to go? How can I help them? I think that is probably a basic requirement. Mm -hmm. I see coaches that work in the field of sports. I see coaches. I used to coach people and how to dress. You can work with people on how to parent, yeah. how to bring out the best in your kids. You can work with people on how to be a good writer, how to be a good actor. You can. There are so many different fields that you can go into with coaching. I, my, my field is I love people and I love coaching, so I help people to learn how to coach and I coach people to learn how to find their dream and become better people. Did you ever had a time where you maybe said to yourself, I don't want to work as a coach anymore? Because <laughs> <laughs> I think there was a time where I, maybe I had certain expectations of what I could do as a coach you see people's potential and you see what they could do with their lives, but then you have to deal with their everyday fears and limitations. So I thought, okay, give me a pe person and I can turn their life around and make it all great. And then it takes so long. Mm -hmm. Or people don't follow through, they give up. And of course, I mean, you have to, you, ha you coach them, but also you have to accept what's coming your way. Mm -hmm. There was a time where I thought, oh, I'm not having the impact I thought I would have. Okay. Or was disappointed that things weren't moving faster. Mm -hmm. But then it was interesting because I would meet my clients maybe a year or two later and then they would say, you remember what you said? I was like, <laughs> I did it. And it took just a little more time than I thought they should invest. What advice would you give uh, someone who comes to you and says, you know what, I don't know what I want to do, but... I want to change something in my life because <laughs> well first it's important to pick a coach that you trust okay yeah. how do you do this I think in my own case I found somebody who became my mentor and I loved what he did I loved the way he coached I liked his lifestyle he was exuding the life or he was living the life that I wanted to live mm -hmm and I saw that he was getting results. And he spoke to me or he spoke to something in me that was ringing true. So then what I did, I, at that point I had no idea what I wanted to do and who I wanted to become. I just followed his instructions. Okay. Almost all coaches offer free consultations where you can learn how they work. I mean, when you talk to a coach and you, you like his approach, you'll know right away. Okay. There is, it's like it clicks. It has to do with communication. They will speak a language that talks to you. Okay. I know that was true from when I was started working with my coach. The way he looked at life and expressed his ideas, <coughs> it was almost as if I was soaking it up. Thank you for being part of our interview and thank you for listening and watching and see you soon within the next week or two.
having another Coach TV LA. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye. Bye bye.